Greetings, this is Shane Ross with a quick tutorial on how to convert 720p 60 footage into very smooth slow motion footage, going from 60 frames per second to 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. First let's start with this footage we shot with a Canon 5D, 7D or Canon T2i. We insert the card and we back up the entire contents of this card, those two files, to an external drive. That's step one. Okay, let's take a look at our file here just to see what the original file looks like. Uh, so we open this up. We see nice, smooth action slow motion. This is 60 frames per second. It is nice and smooth. I want to make this slow motion. Well, my first step would be to convert this footage into an editable format. Yes, H.264 is something that you can drag directly into Final Cut Pro, but it is a very processor intensive format and it can tend to bog down the system. So it's best to start up by converting this into ProRes or ProRes LT. To do that, I use the EOS Login Transfer plugin and use Final Cut Pro to convert the footage. You can, if you want to, convert this clip right here to slow motion, but for the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to work with the file that I have converted. Look on the drive here, Captures and Renders, Untitled Project. I have this file that I converted from my H.264 into ProRes LT. As we look at it, it's the same footage. We are going to use Cinema Tools, which is part of the Final Cut Pro Studio package, to conform this clip from 60 frames per second to 24 frames per second. Let's go to Cinema Tools. The very first thing you will see is this menu here where it says create a new database or open an existing database. That's because this application is designed to work with film databases, but we're going to use one part of it that doesn't involve that. So I just choose open existing database and then I cancel out. But as you note, Cinema Tools is still open. Okay, then we go to the File menu and select Open Clip. I navigate to where the clip is, Monolith, Captures and Renders, Capture Scratch, Untitled, and then I select my file, and I'll open it. Now I want to warn you that this conform that we're doing right now is modifying the original file. When I make this modification, the original file that I've imported will be converted. If you want to have a regular motion clip and a slow motion clip, it's probably wise to duplicate the clip and call one slow motion. Okay, now we go down here to this little button called Conform. The current frame rate is 59.94 frames per second, 60 frames per second. Okay, now in this little drop down menu right here, you'll have several options. If you click on it, you'll see that you have straight 24, straight 25, which is PAL, 2997, and straight 30. But for this project, I'm going to use 2398 because that's the frame rate of the rest of my project. I click Conform. Done. It was that fast. It was pretty instantaneous. What this is doing is it's converting frame for frame the frame rate, going from 60 frames per second to 24 frames per second, so it's taking the exact same amount of frames, only changing them, so now they play back at a slower rate. Let's quit. Here's that same clip. Click on it, open it up. There we go. Nice, smooth, slow motion. And we've retained the audio as well. That does it for this tutorial. Now get back to work.